Wait. I want to talk to you. To all of you. We've done all the talking needs to be done. Not quite. This telegram just comes from Sacramento. What's it about, Hoyt? Huh. I'm the State Land Commission. He's sending a lawyer to talk to Libby Matthews. <laughs> talk ain't gonna save our cattle. They need grass, they need water. So do mine. Then ride with us, Dan. We'll get it for him. We're gonna give Libby Matthews just five minutes to let us drive our herds on Stone Creek. Don't be a fool. You're not gonna scare Libby Matthews. You tried that before and she's still there. And if you try to run her off that land, there'll be a killing. That's what she wants. Maybe so. But if you get a bullet in you, what difference will it make to you or your family whether your cows have grazed and water or not? This lawyer will be here any day now. He'll open up the Matthews land and... It ain't Matthews land, it's public land. All the more reason why we should have this lawyer handle it. Now, let's just try to be a little patient. Patient? Jed's right, Hoyt. Let's see what the lawyer can do. Hoyt? Yeah, looks like I don't have much choice in the matter. All right, we'll let this lawyer try to get the Matthews off the Stone Creek land his way. If he don't do it his way, we'll do it my way.
probably wasn't hurt bad as you thought. He looked real bad, Ma. His face is all bloody. I only meant to scare him. Well, it appears he did. Come on. Don't you think we'd better look around for him? We've got work to do, Danny. Didn't eat much. I wasn't hungry. your name? I can't remember. I can't remember anything. I can't Good morning. Good morning. I didn't know you were awake yet. Sit down and I'll get you some coffee. Can I get you some breakfast? No, thanks, ma'am. I'm not hungry. Well, you better drink your coffee. Danny's out trying to find your horse. My horse? He rode into our property yesterday afternoon, and Danny... Danny what? Shot at you. Well, not at you. He tried to fire past you. He only meant to scare you. Why? Them ranchers down in the valley have been trying to run us off our land. Danny thought you was one of them, coming here to make more trouble. We're sorry. We got no need to apologize. We got signs posted. You should have believed them, mister. But if I was on your property, I must have had some reason for coming here. Do you have any idea what that might have been? No, none. B but Danny says you had a coat on when he first saw you. Maybe there'll be some identification in it. He might find it now. In the meantime, you need a fresh shirt. I'll get you one. What are you going to do? Get him one of Scott's shirts.
Here, put this on. It belonged to my husband. He's away. But he'll be back soon. He'll be back real soon now. You really should eat something, you know. A little broth, if nothing else. Helps you get... What are some of the towns around here? Rockville's uh, about six miles away down in the valley. Then there's Pine Woods. That's uh, about 20 miles up in the hills. Do they mean anything to you? No. Well, they're both small. If you lived in one of them, I'd know it. Well, thanks for the shirt. I'll return it to you just well, as soon. Certainly you're not thinking of going right away. I can't stay here. Oh, of course you can. That is, until you're better. Well, give it a few days at least. Please. Well, maybe a few days. Good. What are you thinking of? Begging him to stay. The man is hurt. How do you know he's hurt as bad as he's letting on? You don't know him. You don't know why he'd come here. My guess is that ranchers sent him up here to scare us. You're wrong. How do you know? I just do. If Scott was here, you wouldn't act Well, like... he isn't here. He's been gone for two years and he may never... this eagle with its wings spread like it. It wasn't going to fly, but it was angry and going to fight. I... <laughs> it just came closer and closer, so I... Mom? Is there anything wrong, Mom? No. Everything's all right. Go on back to bed. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, go on. Good night. Good night. He feels very badly about what happened. Yes, I know. You should wait to find out what you wanted. But he just figured you were one of those ranchers. Maybe I am. I don't think so. Why do these ranchers want to drive you off your land? It's a drought. They need water and grass, and we won't sell out. Can't you get protection from the law? <laughs> the law. The law's on their side. They say that this is public land, and the state owns it, and we're just squatters. But if the law tries to put us off, we'll fight it, too. The land must be very dear to you. There's no reason to hide it. Some people say it's a myth. But we know somewhere on this property is the Socorro Ledge. What's the Socorro Ledge? A vein of gold. My husband is a mining engineer. He spent years checking the stories about it. Now it's just a question of getting someone to back him. That's why he's east. He'll be back soon with the money. In the meantime, it's just you two women and the boy, huh? That doesn't matter. We'll win somehow. We have to. This land, the Socorro Ledge, is Scott's life. 
It's my life, too. I'm going to be right here when Scott gets back. You better try to get some sleep. I'll be going into town in the morning. I wonder if I could borrow a horse. Oh, certainly. But... Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm all right now. I think it's time I start trying to find out who I am. Just don't tell them you know us. They'll be a lot friendlier. Good night. Good night. What to tell you? I suppose I know as much as the next man about amnesia, and I know practically nothing. Can a person recover? Of course. That is, where there's no physical damage to the brain, and none seems indicated. But it's completely unpredictable. Your memory might never return, or it might come back. Any instant. Returning just as mysteriously as it left you. But how? What would make it come back? Mm, who can say? Usually it's coming in contact with something or someone who is familiar to the victim. <laughs> Guess there's only one thing I can say with absolute certainty. Amnesia can be caused by a blow to the head. But I've never heard of it being cured by another blow. So I don't suggest that you go home and hit yourself over the head with a frying pan. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, that was a very poor joke. I should have resisted the temptation to make it. That's all right, Doc. How much do I owe you? Oh, dollar, all right. Sorry, I couldn't do more for you, but what you need, there's no prescription for. Luck. <laughs> to stop by your place and see you. <laughs> Glad to save you the ride. How about another beer? Say, uh, where's that lawyer the state was supposed to be sending down here? I haven't heard from him yet. Well, it's been three days since you got the telegram. <laughs> you better hurry up. What do you mean by that, Hoyt? Well, Cameron, that's what I was fixing to talk to you about. Uh, if the Matthews ain't off the Stone Creek land in one week from today. Now, look, Hoyt, are you listening to me, Cameron? I'm losing three, four head of cattle a day. I'm going to be wiped out. So are you. So is every man in this valley if we don't quit pussyfooting around. Hoyt, will you... One week, Cameron, one week. And no more time, no more talk. And then we're going to burn her out. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't start hollering the minute you come in the door. All right, where would you like me to start hollering? Did you get the mail? I thought you were taking a bath. I am. Right there on those steps? <laughs> Anything for me? Nope. Tell me something, Lord. What is it with all these baths? I mean, you take one, two, three times a day. What's it get you? Clean. Well, you had to ask. That's strange. Nothing from Jared. He said he'd write the minute he got to Rockville. Well, there's only probably one stage out of Rockville each week. Yeah. I'll get your lunch. No, no, no. We'll get it the truck wagon. I'll tell you something. He's, I'll flip you a coin to see if he's not getting those mustard. I'm Mr. Blair from the State Land Office. Ted Blair? That's right. Oh, please come in. Thank you. I've heard Jared speak of you many times. My son's Nick. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? I hope I haven't come at an inconvenient time. Not at all. As a matter of fact, you're just in time for lunch. Well, now, that's nice of you, but I'm afraid I can't. I've got to get right back to Sacramento. Train leaves in less than an hour. I stopped by to see if Jared was here. No, he left for right for last Monday. Is something wrong? Well, I, I got this telegram this morning from a Mr. Cameron in Rockville urging me to see that Jared got to Rockville as quickly as possible. Well, he should have been there three days ago. 
Well, unless he planned to stop somewhere en route. No, and... no, no, he didn't. He said he was going directly to see some woman named, um... Uh, Matthews? Yes. Well, perhaps there's no cause for alarm. On the other hand, maybe there is. I think maybe we better check into it. I'll have McCall take over for a few days and uh, you saddle the horses, huh? Right. May I? Oh, yes, of course. There's nothing you can do for me, Father. We. Oui. What's the trouble, my son? Do you know what amnesia is? Yes. Well, that's my trouble. A few days ago, I was knocked off my horse, and when I came to, I didn't know who I was. Oh, I see. I don't know why I came here. I. I suppose I hoped you'd know me. I'm sorry. Look. If you need a place to stay. No, no, Father, that's, that's not the problem. Perhaps you should talk to Dr. Driscoll. I already have. Wait. I don't feel I should let you go without doing something to help. Don't worry about it, Father. There's nothing you can do. There is one thing. You mean pray for me? Yes, if you wish me to. Well, now, I don't know. Isn't there something in the Bible about a man and his name? Yes, you mean, as his name is, so is he, from Samuel. It's strange, isn't it? A man can lose his soul, and he says, sure, Father, go ahead, pray for me. But he loses his name, and he's not so sure. You see, I don't know what kind of man I was. That doesn't matter. It does to me. That's part of what I'm looking for. Not just who I was, but what I was. My boy, you forget. Your name, everything about you is already known to him. Well, if you'll forgive me, Father, that's not much of a comfort to me. Maybe I belong here, and maybe I belong in jail. Somehow, I don't think so. But you don't know for sure, do you? And neither do I. Maybe that's why I don't want you to pray for me. Maybe I'm afraid of the answer. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of ground to cover. Just one more thing, my boy. No matter how you feel right now, just remember you're not alone. And you're not forgotten. We never are. I'll try to remember that. find out anything in Rockville. Not in Rockville, not in Pine Lake. <sighs> Walked every street a dozen times. Went into every saloon, every hotel, every store. Stared at everybody I saw, and they stared back at me like I wasn't there. What'd the doctor say? <laughs> he wished me luck. You know, you very nearly didn't get your horse back. After Pine Lake, I almost kept right on going. 
Where? I don't know. Any place, I guess, where there are more streets to walk, more people to stare at. I, I know how you must feel, but... Oh, no, you don't. I didn't know. Not until today, and then it hit me. Just two days ago, I had a name. I belonged somewhere. I knew people. They knew me. I had a life. And you still will have. I'm sure one morning you're just going to wake up and all of a sudden you'll remember everything. In the, in the meantime... In the meantime, what? You can stay here. There's a job for you here. No money, but room and board. Look, I know you mean to be kind. No, not kind. Selfish. We need help here. You can see that. And I need to keep on going. I need to keep searching. Well, you still can. It doesn't have to be a full-time job. You can use this as sort of a base, some place to always come back to. You need that. I need to find out who I am. I know. And I want to help you. Supper's ready in 20 minutes. Me and Dakota are going to fix the west boundary fence where it was cut last week. Dakota? That's what I called him because that's where I saw him first. Dakota Flats? He said it was okay with him. Sure nice to have him around, isn't it, Ma? It sure is, Danny. Bye, Ma. Goodbye, Danny. <clears throat> How do I look? Scott bought you that dress just before he went away. Mm. I'd almost forgotten I had it. Ma! Ma, you look great! Don't you look great, Grandma? Gee, it's been so long, Ma. <laughs> Where's Dakota? Oh, he said he wasn't hungry. He's out looking for his coat. What's for dinner, Ma? Wash your hands. They're clean. Go wash your hands. You said you wasn't going to wear that dress till Scott come back. I changed my mind. Hey, Hoyt. What you got there? Bad news. What do you mean? Got us off a horse, a horse I found near the Matthews place. Yeah, look at these. Them are legal papers. That's right. Belonging to Jared Barkley, a lawyer. A lawyer the state was sending down here to get the Matthews off Stone Creek land. What do you think happened to him? You think he's dead? I don't know. Horse was roaming free, legs were scratched and cut. Saddle hadn't been off of him days. What about talking to the sheriff? <laughs> sure. He's over in Black Butte. Besides, I'm tired of messing around. I'm going to go over the Matthews place in Lake Quint. There's one thing I want to know right here now. You going with me? Oh, I don't know, Hoyt. I... Quint, I'm tired of arguing. Hoyt. I'll get the boys together. Libby said she was going away for a few days. Probably be back at the end of the week. Looks like it's going to be a nice night. The night I want to see is the night it rains. Maybe they got some water down the valley. Them ranchers forget about us. Danny tells me it hasn't rained in over five months. What are those ranchers doing for feed and water? I haven't asked them. No concern of mine. Why isn't it? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it just seems to me that maybe this whole problem could be solved without a fight. Like for me and Libby to give up, you mean? Let them drive their stinking cows over my son's land. Let them come. Let them in. Let them look for the gold. And if they find it, let them have it. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Whoever you are, me and Libby don't give in that easy.
Ready to go? Yep. Be riding all night? Got a lot of ground to cover. Which way are you heading? Up north. I wish you weren't going. I have a feeling you won't be coming back. Look over here. You're Vatcher? That's right. I work for the Matthews. I have a little message for you. So you're the guy we ran into up there last night. <laughs> you know they had a man around the place. Is that what made you feel so brave? You thought you were just attacking a couple of women and a boy? So what's the message, mister? Don't come back. Is that all? That's all. <laughs> Are you listening? Get the hell away! Put it away! That isn't going to solve anything. I'm Jed Cameron. I've heard of you, too. I was just telling your friend here that he'd better... I heard you. Well, the same thing goes for you. I wasn't a party to that raid last night. I knew nothing about it until a few minutes ago. If I had, I'd have tried to stop it. Well, you better stop the next one, because you're not running those people off that land. Maybe the Matthews ain't told you yet. Stone Creek ain't their land. They're squatters. They put in 10 years of their life up there. They're there, and they're going to stay there. I'm sorry to hear that. I'd hoped we could settle this peacefully. Maybe we could have before last night. Now, I'm going to tell you just one more time. Don't come back. The next time, I'll be waiting for you. A week. That was your promise, Hoyt. That was before I found the lawyer's horse. How about the rest of you? That Matthew's hired hand meant what he said. The next time, he will be waiting. Then we don't want to disappoint him, do we? I stand to lose more than any of you, but you can count me out.
we gonna do, Mom? Run along. What we gonna do? Run along. Dakota's in the barn working. Shall I tell him? No. No, we'll tell him later. What's this? What are you hiding? This is that man's coat, isn't it? Isn't it? Answer me. You found out who he is, haven't you? Haven't you? Yes. But you haven't told him? No. And you weren't going to? No, and neither are you. Get out of my way. Listen to me. You can't do this. Listen to me. I need him. I can't go on like this, not any longer. I can't fight anymore, not alone, not without help. And neither can you. Look at you. Last night it was a bullet through your arm. Next time it might be one through your head. Dakota's our only chance of staying here. If he leaves, we've lost. No. Yes. I'm tired and I'm scared. And if Dakota goes, Danny and I leave. You can just stay here and be burned out or driven out if you want to. But if that man goes, I'm through. You, you just let them ranchers take my son's land. Yes. So if you want anything for Scott, you keep your mouth shut. I think it's any of your business, but we're looking for a man named Jared Barkley. Is he a friend of yours? He's our brother. Your brother? That's right. Well, I found your brother's horse up in the hills yesterday. Looked like the horse had thrown him and run off. I looked around for him, but I couldn't find him. I don't like saying this, but I think your brother's dead. Dead? Well, that's my guess. Well, not just because you found his horse doesn't mean he's dead. That's right, except we found his horse near the Matthews place. How far is it to this Matthews place? Well, it's about uh, six miles right straight down the west road. You can't miss it. You better be careful. Matthew, see you. They won't miss you either. And what do you want? Our name is Barkley. Barkley? We're looking for our brother, Jared Barkley. Well, what makes you think he'd be here? He's a lawyer representing the State Land Commission. He's coming to see you. He disappeared, but his horse was found near here yesterday. Somebody said you might know something. Well, you were told wrong, mister. I don't know him, and I never heard of him. 
Put that down. Who does it belong to? The man that works for us. Mighty fancy shirt for a hired hand. Mighty fancy. Put it down. Now ride. Yes, ma'am. Ride. I swear that looked an awful lot like Jared's shirt. Come on. Yeah. They'll be back. You got no choice now. You gotta tell them the truth. No. Them to know you're hiding something. And when they come back... When they come back, we won't be here. What? I'm going in to see Jed Cameron. He'll be glad to pay us the money to get off the land. What are you talking about? What are you saying? You can't sell this land. It's mine. It's Scott's. Then where is he? Why isn't he here? Oh, he'll be back. When? I don't know. I'll tell you when. Never. No. Yes, he's dead. You can't say that. You mustn't. You're his wife. I'm his widow. We're waiting for a dead man to come back to find gold that doesn't exist. That's not true. It is true. I've known it all along. And why'd you stay here? Where else could I go? Where will you go now? No, it doesn't matter. Because that man will go with you? Yes. But what if he won't? Well, he will. Just because you're in love with him don't mean he's in love with you. You have to go with us. Where else can he go? All right. Let's say he does go with you. Let's say that. What happens afterwards? If he gets his memory back? I don't know. He had a life before he came here. If you go back to it, he'll have to. You'll be left empty. No emptier than I am now. to say to Mother. As little as possible, just tell her we're going to be a little delayed is all. Mr. Barkley? I want to talk to you. I'm Libby Matthews' mother-in-law. Hi, Ma. Oh! Did you finish the fence? No. Nope. Played hooky instead. We went for a swim in the lake. Danny, would you take care of the horses? Sure, Ma. I have to talk to you inside. Would you like a cup of coffee? Sounds good. How about you? Yes, please. What's the matter? Uh, there were a couple of men here today. Not ranchers. Gunmen Hoyt Vatcher hired. They warned me that I have to get off the land right away. This afternoon. How many warnings does that make? I've lost count. But after they left, I started thinking, this isn't your fight, and if anything should happen to you. I wouldn't worry about that. Well, I, I am worried about it. You asking me to leave? No, no, of course not. Well, what then? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Well, don't try. Because this is my fight. I've made it mine. Why, because you believe in the Socorro ledge and that maybe you'll find it? <laughs> no. Then why? I don't know. Maybe I'm just like you. This place is all I know. All I have to hang on to. No, don't go out there. They're Vatcher's men. They said they'd come back. What are they yelling about, Nick and Heath? 
Don't believe them. That's just a trick to make you think they know you. Jerry! Keep him busy. I'll try to get in the back. All right. special for me in San Francisco. You gave it to him for his last birthday. Just before you left, remember? Don't you remember, Jared? say anything. I was tired and afraid and lonely. I needed someone. I didn't know that, not until you came, but... I better go. Not yet. Not until I talk to those ranchers, try and fix it up so you could stay. No, I don't want to stay. I don't have to stay. That's what I was trying to tell you before your brothers wrote up. I wanted to go away. I wanted to go away with you. I wanted to start living again. I still do, even though I know you won't be there. I'm not sure I know how, but I want to try. Will you promise me one thing? Don't ever stop trying. I won't. Goodbye, Libby. Thank you. 